Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I want to provide some clarity about the BTS concert tickets, the pre-sale and the lottery raffle tickets, like about all of that. Shout out to my fellow YouTube friend Princess Galaxy, I'm gonna leave her channel below because she suggested for me to do this video and she does the best advice videos on how to get the best concert tickets so definitely check her out and also the best crackhead content. I'm gonna put timestamps in the description box so you can skip to the topics that you're actually interested in. And I'm gonna start with the pre-sale on Ticketmaster that applies only to US and Canada concerts. I'm not gonna be able to go there but I'm still gonna go through the process so I can show you how to get through it. When you open Weavers you're either gonna get a notification about this pre-sale or you will be able to see it on the banner on top. So when you click on it, you're going to be redirected to this page. When you scroll down, you can actually join the ARMY membership directly and go straight to the pre-sale or read all the information below. There are two types of pre-sales that you can enter. One is for the members of the official BTS fan club and you can still purchase that now if you want to. I think you have to purchase it until the 2nd of February and the other pre-sale is for the people who don't own one and don't want to get one. So I think I would rank the quality of the tickets that you will get at the end from BTS, ARMY, fan club pre-sale, then the normal pre-sale and then the normal sale. I think I would rank it that way. I'm now going to try to apply to both pre-sales. So there are basically two pre-sales, one for the members of the official fan club and one for the people who don't own this membership and don't want to own one. And here are the step by step on how to get it. So here it says that first you're going to join the army membership on Webply and you must enter until the 2nd of February. Then you can apply for the army membership pre-sale and then register a Ticketmaster for this to be like a verified fan and then get the pre-sale tickets on Ticketmaster. So we're gonna do that now. I opened the Ticketmaster page. You, if you don't have Weavers, I'm gonna link this below. So here are the two types of pre-sales you can enter and I'm gonna try to register for the BTS Global Official Fan Club Army Membership pre-sale. So this is being treated like a normal concert ticket sale because you can see I'm in the queue in the key. How do you say that? Some people say key but I would say queue. To enter this you have to sign in with Ticketmaster and I don't have an account so I'm gonna do one now. Now I got a code sent to my phone. Now that I'm logged in to Ticketmaster I need to enter my uh, Weply and my army membership info there. On the app Weply you can check your order number. So I'm gonna just click on a random show. Maybe the first one, yeah why not. Now I have to verify my phone, my identity. So here it says that on the February 4th I'm going to receive an email confirming whether I've been verified or not and then I can participate in the pre-sale. Now I'm going to do the same with the unofficial, like the general verified fan pre-sale. Let's see how that works out. So here I can also just click continue and put in my information without the on my membership code because it's just a general pre-sale and I will choose the second show just because and they already have my info and my phone number and everything and here also they need a one-time code and when you do this make sure to go into your messages and not wait for a notification because I got two codes without a notification I think they just pop up and you have to search through your messages and I think this was successful because I got both emails for both pre-sales that my application has been sent in so this is for the first point the second point I wanted to talk about is the thing with ticket raffle or lottery tickets that I think everybody talks about but only a few actually know what they are 
and these tickets are basically a small amount maybe it's bigger just an amount of tickets that are taken for from the normal tickets especially floor seats and maybe some other areas too that are put into a lottery but this doesn't apply to all concerts at least not yet it's basically when you order the army membership you see on Weavers all of your benefits and there it says that it only applies for domestic performances and that means for BTS concerts in Korea however there was a statement saying that they might release this worldwide but we don't have any confirmation of that yet I think one of these systems is now what's happening in the US and Canada but for other parts like Europe or uh, Japan, I don't think they have that yet there. But I'll try to keep you updated as much as I can on the new information that will be released. Now onto the new feature, like this face recognition thing. This goes hand in hand with the raffle thing that I mentioned before. This actually means that people, army members, have to register a photography of them. So the ticket that you're given, the ticket and lottery raffle ticket, is issued with your name, like it's personalized. This way they want to avoid illegal resales of tickets and this is actually a good thing but not everybody's happy about this. But what most people don't know is that again it's only a part of the tickets that are being sold like this and in case someone can make it to the concert they give the ticket back to Big Hit and they release this ticket to another fan so you actually have a chance to go to the concert even if you didn't get a ticket the first time around. And the fourth thing is that I made some research and I've come to the conclusion that the general sale for other concerts that are not Korea will remain the same, I think. That's what I found out. But this might change though, because as I said before, they might expand this new lottery ticket system worldwide, but we don't know that yet. And I'm gonna keep you updated either in the comment section or in my description box so you don't miss out on any other info that I might add and also if you know something that I've missed then please comment down below so we can help each other out and get the best tickets and do it in the best way possible without being tricked or anything. I hope this video was just at least a tiny bit helpful. I will try to keep you updated as soon as I can and, and yeah, good luck on getting those tickets. Have a nice day and take care.